What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, it is iCavlos here and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Mass Effect 2 here on the channel. So if you're going to enjoy it as usual, please be sure to leave a like on this video as well as hit that big red subscribe button down below because it really helped me out a lot, I'll be super appreciative and grateful of your support. And with that being said, let's get back into it. So um, today what we're going to do is we are going to be doing a couple of, uh, well not a couple, probably just one because uh, yeah, the way these missions are set up, they're probably just uh, set Commander, up for... You received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, thank you Kelly. Uh, I'm not sure why there was a bit of a stutter there. I'm not sure if you caught that. Uh, you might have noticed that there was a bit of a lag in the in the dialogue for some reason. Okay, whatever it is. Uh, hopefully it's not a persistent issue. But anyway, um, like I said, some of these missions, they're based for about 20, 20, 20 25 minutes. So I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to just do one of it today. And what I'm planning to do is probably Zaid the Price of Revenge. So if you recall from the previous episode, we have unlocked uh, three more dossiers, which is the Aget Tali uh, from the planet Hastrum, the Justicar, and the Assassin. These two are in the planet of Ilium. So... Uh, um, we're gonna leave these three for now. That's because we don't really want to recruit anyone yet That's because we want to do uh, do these loyalty quests that we've unlocked So we already have uh, four loyalty quests available to us One is with Miranda called the prodigal the other one is with Jacob one more is with Kasumi and the final one is with Zaid But we can always do all of this in any order that we like so we are gonna go ahead and do the one with Zaid That's because I feel uh, I just feel like what I want to do Zaid's uh, out of the uh, get Zaid's out of the way and that and as well as probably the next episode we're gonna do Kasumi so uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll think about what we're gonna do for the next episode later on but what we are gonna do today is we are gonna go ahead and do Zaid the price of revenge so what we're gonna have to do is we are gonna have to go to the planet of Zoria and I believe uh, we are not there yet we have to get, head there right now so let's pull up the galaxy map real quick boom Okay, so as you can see, we are still orbiting Horizon. That is where we were previously at. Let's uh, get uh, back out of it. We are going to go to the Mass Relay over here. And we are going to go at Plot Mass Relay Jump to um, help Zaid. There we go. Isma Frontier. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump. Right, so we have to head to the fire system. Uh, we can head here, don't worry. As long as we exit the ring, that's fine. There we go. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to move to the fire system. Okay, I'm not sure if you can catch this, boys, but there's a terrible, terrible micro stutter. I'm not sure why is it stuttering for some reason. It's a bit weird. All right, uh, I hope it's fine though. I hope it doesn't impede the gameplay. So uh, let's go and to the let's go to the planet Zoria. Uh, let's go ahead and land. We're supposed to help Zaid. Okay, so here we are on the refinery. Um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and uh, select our incendiary ammo, and uh, we're gonna equip Zaid with disruptor ammo. Despite, uh, well, I know that uh, this this level there isn't any um, there isn't any synthetic enemies, but we are gonna give him the um, the disruptor ammo just because it works very well against shields. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but this stutter. I I'm, I'm still I'm still seeing this stutter if I move the camera if I if I move the camera very fast. Um. I'm not so sure why. I guess it's probably because my computer is near um, the minimum requirement. So, um, yeah, I, I really apologize if you can see the stutter. I can't do anything about that. I've lowered the graphic settings already. And, uh, yeah, I've done all I can. So, uh, you just bear with me through this. And uh, the, 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 only thing I can, the only thing I can do on my part is to apologize to you guys if you can see there is a bit of... Um, a bit of uh, well, a bit of screen tearing, a bit of lag. So, uh, yeah, again, I'm very sorry. So, uh, anyway, I hope it is. I hope it doesn't uh, hinder you too much from the video. But uh, let's just keep going. Okay. Traffic in the Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. All right. Spot I hear you. Bravo. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. All right. Dead bodies. Shot in the back and left to rot. 
That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Okay. Tropical setting as well. Tropical. Take a position. Likely these people are not runaways. Yeah. All right. So this is a this is a tropical setting, and these are what we call pijacks. These are monkeys. <laughs> um, Activate barrier. Okay. Heavy down. All right. Head up here. Med kit, 100 credits. That's fair. Why the hell do I hear a mech? Okay, um, Zaid, some help? Oh crap, Garrus already used Overload. Alright, alright, take out a Pyro first. The Pyro's much more dangerous. Come on, take him out! What the hell are y'all doing? Alright, 6,000 credits from the PAD, PDA, that's not bad. Damn it. Um, why the hell, why the hell, <laughs> what the hell were, what the hell were the squad mates doing just jumping around the place? Should have taken, should have shot that, should have shot that, uh, that, that woman. Um, okay. So let's, uh, let's go, let's activate this bridge. Like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got me after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you found the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot, don't you call that a goddamn grudge? A gun to your head, damn, Zaid. Damn. You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We better get moving. All right, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna move on ahead. Like I said, uh, you might have noticed that there was a bit of a lag in Zaid's dialogue earlier. That's because of the micro stutter. Uh, yeah, I'll try to find a fix for it. I'll try to find an alternative fix for it, but uh, I'm not keeping my hopes up because, like I said, my computer is very weak. It's near. It's towards the minimum requirement of this game, so I'm not having my hopes up too high. Okay. Anyway, um, let's open this door. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Gone near 
sight an old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. Stick to the mission, Zaida. We're gonna have a problem. I think maybe we already do. I want Vito dead, Shepard. Whatever the cost. Okay. So we're just gonna keep going. We have to defeat the... Whoa, hold on a minute. Damn it. Where the hell did this guy come from? What the fuck is this angle, man? Come on! What the hell? What the fuck is this angle? What the hell is this angle? <laughs> well, by the way, if you're seeing this, please fix this angle. It's terrible. Um, yeah, I know probably that's because we, uh, well, we we have that we have the game. Well, it's probably because it's right-handed, but um, yeah, god damn it, it's terrible. Just take a look at this. What the fuck is this angle? Can't even shoot anything from here. Well, maybe maybe a pro, maybe a pro player can. I, I'm not a pro player, so uh, I'm catering for the I'm catering for uh, well the more well the less the, the the casual player. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, there should be a door here, right? Uh, and a refined palladium chest. Okay, let's open it up. 100 palladium. That's not bad. Now let's head through this door. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stopped to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. Okay guys, so uh, what we've decided to do here is we've decided to save the trap workers. Well, you could probably go ahead and uh, help Zaid kill Vito, but uh, I don't think uh, that's the right thing to do uh, ethically here. So uh, for me, for me at least, I think we should probably go ahead and save the workers. That's because um, I think we get more rewards as well. So it's much better, uh, well, in your best interest to save the workers actually. You get better rewards and there's probably, uh, that's probably the only reason to do so. So. Um, we are gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have to bypass this door. It's mandatory to bypass it. Um, one more. There we go. Sweet. Okay. So let's keep going. Whoa. What the fuck? Uh, oh, probably it's just... Okay, it's probably just a ga gas explosion. <laughs> that frightened me a bit. Alright. Okay, open this door. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. Alright. Redirect fuel. That's gonna stop. Nice. Redirect fuel again. What the hell does this stop? Um, probably something up here. I'm not so sure. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going. Whoa. Careful. Careful. Don't want to step in the fire. Alright, alright. I hear you, lady. Take it easy. I hear ya. I hear ya. Take it easy, take a chill pill. I'm here to save you. Commander Shepard's here to save you. Take a chill pill. <laughs> okay. Um, where is this uh Damn it. This damn well the damn recoil. <laughs> Bioware needs to take it easy. Alright, so let's uh let's open up this refined palladium chest. 400 palladium, that's not bad. Uh let's open this door. And the fuel system should be somewhere in here. 
a research terminal. Let's uh, check it I'll out. Take it. Heavy weapon ammo. Okay, sweet. All right. Uh, open this up. Okay. Now to stop Vito Santiago. All right. So if you go on the Paragon route, there's actually no way to save Vito. Uh, sorry, not uh, not save Vito. There's no way to stop Vito. But um, to be honest with you, you really want you. Uh, it's better to. It's better not to save Vito. But you can still you can still secure Zaid's loyalty despite not killing Vito. You just have to have enough Paragon on Renegade points, which is uh, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Uh, sorry, not Renegade points. Uh, enough Paragon points. So. Um, once you have enough Paragon points, uh, you're still gonna be able to get uh, Zaid's loyalty. So uh, it's you, it doesn't matter if you don't kill Vito. Okay, so let's keep going. M four five one Firestorm. Thanks, ah, this thanks. is the this is the uh, flamethrower. Uh, Flammenwerfer. Flammenwerfer. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, let's take the let's take the flamethrower. We're probably not gonna use it. I whoa. Fuck it out. Okay, we we, we use it. <laughs> All right. Okay, be careful. I don't want to use the f I don't want to use the flamethrower. I'm not really a fan of it. Um. Okay, Zaid must have headshotted him. All right, salvage this servo. Six thousand credits. Jesus, that's a lot of credits. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going uh, through this door. Whoops. Hold on. A power cell. Open up. Ninety-five heavy ammo. That's good. Let's open up this door. And I believe uh, this is the last uh, the last area as well. We're gonna head through the flanks here. Okay, this guy must really want Zaid dead. Think again. Um, there's a reason why we're taking there's a reason why we're taking taking cover here um, this is what this is what I'm worried about okay so we're gonna want to shoot that so that it drops it's gonna take out uh, most of the enemies I believe there's one more okay, we're gonna want to run over there Okay. That's because I want to check this door. I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Where the hell did this guy come from? I thought I took him out already. Don't, don't target a mech yet. Um, we're gonna have to fight that mech later, but not yet. Put on barrier. Why the hell did I just get out of cover when they when they fired the shot? All right. shot ready. Oh, okay, the mech's ready. Okay, okay, head up, head to cover, head to cover. All right, we're gonna want to go. Um, okay, I'm gonna go disruptor. Let's uh, let's target a mech. Um, Okay, overload Garrus. Alright. 
Okay, sweet. Okay, and we're out of bullets. <laughs> what a timing. Okay, so uh, I believe this is the, this is it for this mission. Um, we're gonna have to go and stop uh, Vito now. But there's probably no way to stop him uh, based on what I recall. Um, there's pretty much... Uh, well if, if well if you took the renegade route and you don't save the workers you definitely can't stop them but uh since we took the paragon route to save the workers there is no way to stop them okay so uh, i'm done blabbering let's uh, let's just head through this door Just cost me 20 years of my life! Revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. <laughs> okay. You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That is not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, lot. So that concludes another our uh, well, our first loyalty mission here on the channel done, and it is Zaid's loyalty mission. So uh, we have that complete. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the video here, and and look, what you look at that, we unlock yet another loyalty mission. So um, I think we're gonna go and do this one next because I believe uh, this one is much more. Um, how do I say it? It's much more beneficial to us in the long run. That's because I I I. I I want to I want to get this mission done because there's a particular type of uh, uh, when when you complete when you complete missions basically what happens is uh, I'm just gonna give you a brief rundown when you complete loyalty missions you unlock specific uh, bonus power so um, remember how I mentioned if you recall in the first episode I mentioned something about warp ammo so yeah the only way that you're gonna get warp ammo is if you complete Jack's loyalty mission which is subject zero as you can see here so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, how to complete Jack Jack's loyalty mission in the next episode and we are gonna complete it as well as get us uh, Get, uh, get ourselves the warp ammo so i think that's going to be very beneficial for us in our playthrough and um yeah i think that's what i'm going to do in the next episode so uh with that being said we are going to end the video here because we are running out of time so if you enjoyed this episode of uh, mass effect 2 uh please be sure to leave a like on this video guys as well as hit that big red subscribe button down below i'll be super grateful and appreciate all of your support and with that being said this is kevlo signing off and i hope to catch you in the next one folks peace